A tramper is an R4 Class 3 vehicle which can be rented out at many parks across Britain. A tramper is designed to traverse rough terrain. For example, on hollow tracks in fields. Or going up pavements in more urban settings. Before you are allowed to use a tramper, you will first be explained how to use one by a trained assistant when you go to pick it up. When the tramper first arrives, it will be in the trolley fastened behind a car. The assistant will move the tramper for, from the trolley for you before attaching a beacon on the back of the tramper. This attracts attention so others around you will know that you are approaching. The tramper has an ignition switch that must be activated by turning the keys in the slot. This can be located underneath the handlebars on the right hand side, similar to a car or a motorbike. Be sure to turn off the ignition when the tramper is not in operation. First, use the lever at the bottom of the seat to adjust both the spacing and the straightness of the backrest until you feel comfortable. In front of you will be a dashboard with all the controls of the tramper on it. In the middle of the dashboard is a, is a display with numbers on it. This is the battery monitor, which displays the current condition of the battery. Please keep an eye on the display, as if the batteries run out of power, the tramper will stop working. All trampers have their batteries fully recharged before using the fully have sufficient power to be used for an entire day. To go forward, turn on the ignition and twist the handlebar forward. You can change which handlebar you must twist by using the lever mark left and right on the right hand side of the dashboard. This way, you can set the tremble to move if you twist the left handle instead of the additional right handle. Twisting the handle further will not increase the speed. The speed the tremble will move at can be set by adjusting this dial found on the lower right of the dashboard. This dial can change the speed the tramper will travel at. The more to the right it is, the faster it will go. The tramper also has two speed settings, the slower turtle setting and the higher her setting. To change between the two settings, use the lever with the picture of a turtle and her located to the upper right of the battery monitor on the dashboard. The setting the tramper is currently on is the one the lever leans towards. To stop the tramper, stop twisting the handle and the brakes will automatically activate. Please note you may feel a split second lag before the brakes activate, especially when driving uphill. To change the direction the tramper is travelling in, tilt the handlebars in the direction you want to travel in the same way you would a bicycle. If you are performing a sharp turn, please be aware of the tramper's turning circle. To reverse, Flick the switch on the upper right corner marked with two arrows. This switch changes whether the tramper will move either forwards or backwards. If the switch is pointing up, the tramper will go forwards when the handle is twisted. If the switch is pointing down, the tramper will move backwards when the handle is twisted. The handle is still twisted in the same direction it is when the tramper is moving forwards as it is when reversing. The tramper is a Class C vehicle and must be used on roads when in urban areas. When travelling on, on a road of other vehicles, use this switch located on the upper left of the dashboard to indicate while turning as you would in a car. Set the lever in the direction you want to indicate in. The tramper has a horn which can be used to attract attention. To use the horn, push the button with the trumpet symbol found at the bottom left of the battery monitor. If using the tramper at night, you must have the headlights turned on. To activate the lights, press the button marked with this symbol found in the bottom left corner of the dashboard. Turn the lights off, press the button again. If you need to use the hazard lights on the tramper, press the button marked with the triangle found on the left hand side of the dashboard.
If you are keeping the tremper for overnight usage, please take extra note of the battery percentage display on the monitor. If the monitor displays that less than 30% of the battery remains, it is recommended to recharge the tremper overnight. The assistant will explain how to do this if this situation applies to you. When returning the tramper, an assistant will load the tramper back into the trolley that it first came on. They will first inspect the condition of the returned tramper. Please do not try to put the tramper on the trolley yourself. You are now ready to use the tramper. We thank you for watching and hope you enjoy using the tramper very soon.